This is my video review of the Gens Ace 1800 milliamp hour 25C 14.8 volt lithium polymer battery. This is the box it was shipped in. Let's see what's inside here. Here is the battery itself in bubble wrap and there's a instruction sheet which has all the safety information, the charging information, and the warranty information about this battery. Very well written. So here's the battery itself. Let's uh, do a quick test on the weight of the battery. So I'm getting 6.735, I don't know if you can see that the camera, 6.735 ounces. A couple other things I wanted to mention about this battery. The balanced JSD plug has a nylon holder on there, which is nice so that you don't pull on the wires when you're pulling it out of the balance charger. And you have a T connector, which I use on all my airplanes. And uh, this is a nice benefit for me because I'm going to have to resolder another connector on there. And to me, these are the best connectors out there still. So I want to point that out. The cable is nice and flexible. It's not too overly heavy of a gauge. Gives you a little flexibility. So that's good to know. Now I'm going to be uh, charging this battery on a balance charger. And then I'm going to be uh, putting it in a ugly stick balsa wood airplane that I have that works with four cell batteries. I normally use a 2200, so I'm going to try the 1800 because the plane's a little nose heavy with my 2200 battery. So I think this will work out great. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put it on the charger and look at the uh, different uh, cell voltages while it's being charged. And then we're going to try it on the airplane. Okay, so we have the Gen Zace 1800 milliamp hour 25C 14.8 volts. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug it into the balance port and the main charge port with the T connector to my Thunder Power AC6. And I have it set to 1.8 amps charging current, 14.8 volts. And let's get that charge going. Okay, so now it's, uh, let's hit enter. And now it's beginning to charge. And you see the voltage uh, at 15.331. It says four cell, it's in the balance charge, which is what you should typically do to make sure the cells are balanced. 1.8 hour, 1.8 amp is going through it right now, which is the rating of the battery. Let's look at the individual cell voltages here. So we've got 3.86, 3.87, 3.86, and 3.86, which is uh, very good. So it shows that they're all within uh, 0.01 of a volt, which is what you want to see. So we're going to let this charge, and then we're going to uh, test it out on one of my uh, ugly stick airplanes, which takes this size battery. Okay, so the battery finished charging, and let's see what we got here. So 16.79 puts 976 milliamps into the battery. Let's look at the uh, cell voltages. 4.2, 4.19, 4.2, and 4.19. All within 0 0.01 of a volt, which is a good sign. The plane I'm going to be testing it on is a Ugly Stick, which is a pretty big airplane. 3 pounds, 14 ounces. And it has a internal battery holder section right here and this battery slides right into that section right there I think it's held on with velcro strap so next thing you do is to test it in the field 
Well, it looks like it's got a lot of power. Lots of power. So we just got done flying and uh, got about nine minutes, eight and a half, nine minutes, which is normal, which is actually good for 1800 milliamp hours. And it's just a little bit warm. You see the pack is still very flat and nice. So what are my overall impressions of this Gen Z's battery? I think it's really good value. As you can see, I tested it in my airplane and it worked fine. I got uh, all the power and performance that I expected to have, um, similar to the other batteries I've purchased before. So this is a little lighter, which is a, a great benefit for me on this plane. Um, so I'm going to highly recommend this battery and I hope this video review helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.